All right, so I kind of did a thing. I really wasn't even looking for a pistol, but I just kind of couldn't help it. The price was right. And you can see from the box, it is a Shadow Systems. Well, let's look at the box. Let's see what they give you. They do give you a cardboard box. Not terrible. Comes with a instruction manual, which you will need. Nice little sticker. Uh, sh the instruction manual you'll need for to kind of show how to mount your optic. This is a kind of a proprietary optic mounting system. I did buy this new. It comes with uh, some Loctite, all the screws and stuff. Uh, man, you won't believe how much this was because uh, I've normally seen these um, these shadow systems go for like a thousand bucks for the elites. Um, the combats, I think, are like 800. You might be able to find a little cheaper. Comes with uh, PMAG, lock, throw that shit out. Um, some back straps, so you got some different angles. And then the actual firearm itself. It is an MR920L. So it's a Glock 19 frame or size frame, right? Should be unloaded. Um, and a 17 slide. You can see the slide's a little bit longer. It's only a half an inch longer. I got some, some schmutz on my hands. But, man, I've heard a lot about Shadow Systems pistols. And uh, I am a, a kind of a Glock fan. Uh, not that I think Glock pistols are superior in any sort of way. I just really like the simplicity of Glock, the reliability, the durability, um, the aftermarket support. I do think there are better options out there on the market. Uh, as far as price point goes, I think Glocks are overpriced. But um, as far as being able to completely disassemble a weapon, uh, weapon system, uh, magazine availability, uh, even parts availability. Uh, I mean, you really can't deny that that Glock probably has the leg up on most of the competition. That's why I choose Glock, not because it's the best platform, but just because it's the most widely available platform. So let's say um, shit does hit, hit, hit the fan. Being able to find parts, uh, you know, like I said, magazines, let's say things wear out in your slide or in your frame, you're more likely going to be able to find it for a Glock a lot easier than uh, even the, the more common pistols like a Smith & Wesson, um, M&P, uh, CZ, uh, P10C, an FN509, uh, you name it, uh, you know, everyone's uh, SIG P320. Uh, you name it, I still think you'll be able to find a Glock uh, parts easier. Now, I bought this because I found a good price on it. It was 650 bucks for this. Because um, I was looking at a Glock 17 Gen 5 MOS. And uh, I saw this pop up for 600-ish. 600, I think it was like 650 after everything was said and done. After the transfer fee... Um, after my, uh, 4473, um, and it is the combat model. So it's got the window cuts. Some people don't like window cuts. It's got the bronze barrel. Uh, I did not get the threaded barrel, but that's okay. Uh, I think it'd be kind of overkill for a long slide version of, uh, a shadow systems. Uh, let's take a look at the, at the trigger. So it's kind of creepy. I ain't gonna lie. It's better, it's, it's, it's on a Gen 4 platform. It's not a bad break. It's a crispy break. Let's check out the reset. It's okay. Um, it's better than a stock Gen 4, for sure. Um, nothing to write home about. Pretty average. Let's see how this disassembles. kind of hard to do this. Hold on. Sorry. Just had to press down on it. Comes with a capture guide rod, it looks like. It is a capture guide rod, uh, steel. And let's see. Barrel looks good. I know it is a stainless barrel. I do believe it's titanium nitrided, even though it's kind of bronze is color, right? And uh, the slide. 
Slide looks good. I can tell that is a Gen 4 or Gen 3 safety plunger. Uh, the only thing I don't like, it's, uh, it is proprietary. Uh, so, you know, you won't be able to interchange the slides because, you know, 17 slides have a different locking block on it. I don't know if you could actually change the locking block to a Glock 19 locking block and then put a uh, like 19 size slide on it. I'll probably just keep it stock, but I really wanted to try out a shadow systems. Um, just to kind of see how how well they uh, they put together uh, their their version of a Glock 19. I hope that's how you put it back on. We're about to find out. Looks right. Comes with uh, two Magpul mags. Uh, I think they're kind of uh, they're not being as honest. They say Magpul magazines are more reliable. Uh, not from my experience. I actually think Glock magazines are probably the most reliable uh, magazine for this platform. Uh, let's see. It does drop free. That is good. Um, they, my opinion is they did it because it was the cheapest. Um, the optic mounting screws will be proprietary as uh, most systems are. Let's see if, yep. They're torqued down pretty good. And then I know the safety plunger extractor is also proprietary on this. So you will not be able to interchange the safety um, extractor plunger. They do lock tight the threads. I want to put this over here so I don't lose them. I'm, uh, I have a bad habit of putting all my optic screws in one bag. So uh, when I'm trying to figure out what optic screws to put back on, like, like let's say I want to put on the... Uh, the optic plate because uh, I'm not using an optic I do have an optic for this by the way I do get them kind of kind of messed up but as you can see right here the uh, safety depressor plunger is going to be proprietary so you will not be able to interchange that out with uh, you know gen 3 or gen 4s or gen 5s but from what I hear um, you got to take like a screwdriver push this up I mean you disassemble it everything um, what else is proprietary on this there's some other proprietary parts. Um, let's look at the frame again. Hold on, let me take this apart. As I forgot to look at the frame. All right, um, drop the mag, usually helps. Fire control group looks the same, All right? So the optic mounting and the safety depressor plunger. Um, the recoil spring, it's going to be proprietary. You won't be able to interchange that out with, uh, you know, Glock Gen 4 or Gen 5 uh, recoil springs. Uh, even if this was just a regular MR920. Uh, but uh, that's, I think that's all the proprietary parts. And I'll probably just stick uh, this hollow sun that I have on this extra, extra slide here on my... Uh, on this for now until I get another uh, Glock 19 Gen 5 frame. I'm looking for that. Uh, my next purchase was going to be a Glock 9 or Glock 17 MOS. That's going to be my main duty style carry pistol. But like I said, I just I was looking at Glock 17 Gen 5 MOSs, and there were I could find one for about 650, and I honestly just found this on the same side I found it for uh, a Glock 17 uh, for 650 and uh, this was 650 you know well after shipping and transfer and everything and I'm like you know what maybe I should just go ahead and, and buy this one and uh, I'm gonna uh, be honest the uh, reason why this was uh, 650 is because it is a blim but I have looked this over and I have not found a blemish on this except on the barrel. You got a little chip there on the barrel, right? You tell me. You tell me where the, the blemishes are on this. Maybe like a little tiny scratch right there. That That's that's it. Little, little, little mark right there. I'm at... <sighs> For what these go for, like a thousand bucks, I'm willing to save three fifty for uh, a couple little marks like that. I don't think it's—I don't think it looks all that bad. Um, 
the website I bought this from, it was like Dalahoga Armory. Wasn't really sure about them. They're legit. Uh, it's like a pawn shop out of Georgia, North Carolina, something like that. But anyway, um, sent it super quick. Uh, it was sent to my FFL within a couple of days. Oh, I was actually pretty impressed with it. Uh, this was the only one that they had, uh, so I'm glad I picked it up. Uh, but we will see how well this works. They say there is a 200 round break in. So anything like stove piping, uh, failure to feed, stuff like that. I'm not going to give shadow systems too much of, uh, too hard of a time for, um, if I have any of those malfunctions due to their break in period. And, uh, from what I hear, shadow systems has a very, very good customer service, um, support team. So, and uh, another plus is if you ever have to use this in a self-defense situation and you are deemed, you do, this is, this is the stipulation. You have to be deemed, you know, it has to be deemed a good shoot um, and that it was a, uh, you know, lawful self-defense situation. Um, they will send you another shadow systems and replacement um, while that whole thing is being taken care of, which... I'm kind of confused because once they deem that, they should give you your weapon back. So the fact that Shadow Systems is willing to send them out, is, you know, send you a firearm as a replacement until you can get it out of police custody. It's cool. I appreciate it. That's like, that's a legit, you know, um, warranty and, and something that not every manufacturer does. Kudos to Shadow Systems. But... They've probably never had to do that or uphold that warranty in any sort of way. So um, it's more of a selling feature. I think people give that, that way too much hype for what it is, to be honest with you, uh, because the likelihood that you will be in a self-defense situation is pretty low. And then you tack on the likelihood that you're going to survive a self-defense situation and you go to court and you don't spend any jail time is pretty low as well. So you factor in all those things and the likelihood that uh, you would actually be qualified uh, for that program is um, so small. I'd, uh, I'd probably have a better chance of winning, uh, you know, the Mega Millions or Powerball. So I do like the sights on it. I do like how they come with, uh, a, uh, I think it's a Miraglow, Miraglow sights. It has Shadow, Shadow Systems branding on that front sight, but blacked out rear, serrated in the back. Um, it is a tritium front with a yellow dot. Really nice and quick, even though I will be attaching an optic. I'll probably try to shoot this with irons at first, just, you know, that's kind of the benefit of having a long slide, that and just a little more velocity out of the uh, powerful nine millimeter that blows the lungs out of people. So, I don't know. I'll, I'll test the grip angle. That is another thing that is kind of cool with Shadow Systems, even though I am used to uh, the, the grip angle of a Glock where you kind of have to cant your, your wrist forward a little bit, but it allows your wrist to lock and control the recoil a little bit better. Um, I do like the, um, what do you call it? Like gas pedal or whatever they call it. Um, I do use a thumbs forward grip. Um, it is very, very nice. Like you can see how much that ledge sticks out. It's got a nice undercut underneath. Um, it does come with a magwell. Yeah, yeah, here's the magwell. It comes with a plastic magwell. I believe it's a Magpul magwell. I wouldn't be surprised since they give you Magpul magazines that it is a Magpul magwell. It is just plastic. Let's see, it would just go on the front like that. I do believe, yep, there's its pen right there. But it's a, it's a good looking weapon system. I ain't gonna lie. Good looking weapon system. That uh, that spring's a little... Uh, you can hear that spring. I don't really like that. But people say the trigger's a lot better on the shadow systems. I, um, I mean, it's okay. It's okay trigger. Like I said before, no AMB controls. Um, another thing that Shadow Systems said was they picked the, the Gen 4 platform because it was the best platform. I mean, I, I honestly think that's straight cap. Um, 
Gen 5 is superior in my opinion. The reason I didn't go with Gen 5 is uh, I believe the copyrights for, you know, cloning and stuff um, aren't released. It hasn't been out long enough. That's why you see Gen 3s and Gen 4s clones out there in the market. So I wish Shadow Systems would have just said that. Like, hey, the copyrights on the Gen 5 aren't available. That's why we... That's why we didn't do it. That would make more sense to me than telling people that the Gen 4 platform is the uh, the, the superior Glock platform. I want to see that real quick. Just wanted to see if there was any movement in there. But the, uh, the optic screws go pretty far down. It is proprietary. I think they're supposed to be like little, little plastic spacers or something. Or this is probably in this bag right here yeah little plastic spacers so you will have to read the manual to figure out uh what um spacer and what screw you need for the right optic you can see there that's why you have a proprietary safety depressor plunger because most of the time that safety depressor plunger goes all the way back and then you have to use a shortened screw on the right side if the muzzle is facing outward and uh, you can use the longer screw on the left side of uh, your optic mounting plates or, you know, directly uh, thread it into the slide. But that's why they moved it up. That's why they made it proprietary. So um, we'll see how well it holds up. Um, I will say that with an optic, it's supposed to uh, co-witness with standard height uh, sites, which is really, really nice. So uh, those are all the reasons why I decided to go with uh, Shadow Systems. Um, mainly because of price. I wanted to try out the Shadow Systems, see what all the hype was about. I think, you know, 650 bucks for uh, the weapon, um, even though it's blemished. That's how you know it's going to be blemished. Any Shadow Systems that you find in the store or on the used market. If you see this B, that means it's it came from the factory blemish, but um, I think I got a good deal on it. So I will see how well this shoots, but I I mean, it's always a good day when you get a, a, a new firearm, put it into your collection. Uh, this is definitely a, uh, I mean, it's it's awesome. I ain't gonna lie. I love uh, I love getting new uh, new firearms and parts and stuff. So, but anyway, I thought I'd share this with you guys um, and join me next time.